adults who have muscular dystrophy. It's like when they were born, when their muscles were being made, a very important ingredient was left out. And so what we're doing this weekend is the money that we're raising with this show is first of all helping raise money for scientists and doctors all over the world who are learning about that missing recipe ingredient and are learning how to fix that recipe. And that is so, so important. And so Luke and Abby both have different kinds of muscular dystrophy. And when they were born, their muscles were missing ingredients. Well, hey everybody, how are you? Good? Hey. Awesome, you guys excited to be here? Yes. yes. Good, well I am too. Uh, as Andy said, my name is Luke, and I am 18. Do you have any 16, 17 year olds in this group? Awesome, very good, very good. So I'm very close to you, you guys today. And uh, I have a form of muscular dystrophy, and like Andy said, I have a missing ingredient or two. Um, and I use a wheelchair to, to get around, and uh, I'm in college. So I live by myself, and I get around by myself, and have some other people who help me out. I have a very cool life right now, and a lot of that is because of this the support that my family receives from NBA, which is the organization that puts on the show. And if it wasn't for them, uh, I would not right now be where I am. I would not be here certainly, and I would not have developed some of the skills that I developed. And I have the ability to communicate uh, like I do with you guys today. Uh, so my, my take home message for you, uh, young and old, I, I think everybody can understand this, um, is that there's there's sometimes a misconception with people who have any kind of disability. And that is that we are so different from anybody else. And we're really not, because as Annie said, if you have a chocolate chip cookie, you have a chocolate chips. It's still a cookie, right? Yeah. And it probably still tastes good, right? Yeah. Right? You like sugar cookies. <laughs> In fact, some people like sugar cookies better than chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> right? Me. Okay, so there you go. So what I want to say is don't be afraid to say hello to anybody who you see in a wheelchair or uh, wearing bike braces or with any other kind of difference. Because we're very nice people, just like you, and we want to get to know you just as much as you might want to get to know us. And we also do not ever want to ask you questions. So don't forget that we may not have chocolate chips, but we're still very, very nice people, and we're very uh, eager to help you understand um, what you're doing and why it's important. So, so thank you for being here, and I'm going to let Abby talk for just a So I use these braces and then sometimes I use a scooter and it's a little harder for me to get around. But I just wanted to thank you all so much for coming out here because the money that you're helping us raise is going for cures or so that our wheelchairs or walkers or braces can get repaired. And it really means a, a lot to all of us.
Yeah, but part of that can be the cuteness on TV too. It's